Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. I am planning to start a new series on React JS. But before starting this series, I want to cover some very important JavaScript topics that you will encounter a lot in React development. So today in this video, I want to start with arrow functions. I am happy to share with you that I have just finished writing an ebook entitled JavaScript A Comprehensive Guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. It is a ebook that covers all the important things about JavaScript. If you are interested in Vue.js, React or any other JS framework, it is very essential to know the basics of JavaScript. It starts with simple things and goes all the way up through more advanced approaches making sure that you know JavaScript inside out. Here is a preview of what's inside the ebook. The table of contents shows that it contains all new features and methods introduced since ES 2015. Similarly, you can also find a list of new features introduced in ES 2016 and so on. You will feel comfortable handling any JavaScript project after reading through this ebook. Wait no longer, grab your copy of ebook, start your journey to JavaScript mastery now. But before we dive in, a quick favor, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any upcoming tutorials. Now let's get started. Okay. So what are arrow functions? Arrow functions were introduced in ECMAScript 6 or you can say ES6 and have since become a popular and concise way to write functions in JavaScript. They offer a more streamlined syntax compared to traditional function expression. For example, syntax for Traditional function expression is like this. It starts with function keyword and then function name. Let's say function name is my function, then parenthesis and start curly braces. And in this curly braces, we have function body. Now the basic syntax for arrow function is like this. Let's say const my function to is equal to parenthesis and then equal to greater than sign and curly braces and in this curly braces we have function body this is the traditional way to write function expression and this is the syntax for arrow functions let's break down the syntax further and explore some examples so let's say we want to calculate square of given numbers. So in traditional function expression, we will write like this. Start with function keyword and function name, let's say square. And then in parentheses, it is going to accept parameter, let's say number. And then let's start curly braces. And in this function body, we are going to return number multiply number. Now let's console log square and let's pass any number let's say 5 and in the console we can see it has given the result 25 now let's see how we can write this in arrow function so let's comment this and let's say we have variable const square and square is equal to arrow function it starts with parenthesis equal to greater than sign and start curly braces let's say it going to accept the argument number and then we are going to return this is same return expression like this and it will also give the same result let's say any other random number let's say 3 and here we will get number 3 the arrow functions are great for short concise function if the function body consists of a single expression then you can omit the curly braces and the return keyword so in this example we can remove this curly braces and we can also remove this return keyword 
and it will be one liner like this it will also give the same result so let's say another value let's say number 6 and here we get the result 36 additionally if function has only one parameter you can also omit the parentheses so in this example it accepts one parameter so let's remove this parentheses and this is also valid however for the function with no parameters or more than one parameters required using parentheses for example we want a function to add two numbers so let's comment this and let's create a one more function const add is equal to parentheses and it requires two parameters let's say a comma b and then we are going to return a plus b next console log add 5 comma 10 now you will see 5 plus 10 is equal to 15 arrow function offers several benefits one of which is their concise syntax making them idle for short functions basic operations and callbacks they are specially useful for high order functions like array helper methods dot map filter and reduce making code more elegant and expressive let's see one example of it so let's say we have a array of numbers so const numbers is equal to and we have array of one two three four now let's suppose we want to double each numbers in this array so let's implement this so const let's say variable name is double is equal to numbers dot map in case you do not know about this dot map method i have already created tutorial on this make sure to check it out this as well now this function accepts callback function now here first let's pass the traditional function expression and here this function going to accept parameter number and then we are going to return number multiply by 2 now let's console log doubled and in the console we can see we have result 2 4 6 8 now let's see how it looks in arrow function so let's comment this and let's call const doubled is equal to numbers dot map and now let's pass arrow function this function going to accept a number and now we are going to return number multiply by 2 and it will give us the same result because it accepts one parameter so we can remove this parentheses also and it gives the same result here it how it looks in traditional function and this is the example of arrow function one of the key features of arrow function is that it automatically binds the this keyword to current scope in simpler terms it helps you avoid some tricky situations where this keyword might not behave the way you expect it to in traditional functions so let's suppose here we have a class so let's remove this and let's create a class let's say class name is my class and in this class let's add a constructor let's say it has this dot let's say number is equal to 42 next let's say it has a method let's say my method now let's suppose we want to console log this number after one second so so let's call set time out now in this set time out let's pass traditional function expression so function and here let's console log this dot number like this next outside this class first let's initialize its instance so const instance is equal to new my class and then we will call instance dot my method like this and in the console we can see undefined right here so if i console of only this keyword here it is giving us the instance of window but if i move this console log 
outside this set timeout right here it will give us the instance of my class so inside this traditional function this keyword is not bind to this class inside this timeout we need to bind manually this keyword to this callback function for that we need to call dot bind and then here we will pass this keyword now this keyword is instance of my class but in case of arrow function we do not need to bind this keyword manually let's see this so let's remove this traditional function and let's pass arrow function now let's console log this and here we get my class so here we can console log this dot number and here we get 42 this behavior makes arrow function a cleaner and more intuitive choice in many scenarios and there you have it we have covered arrow functions in javascript a simpler yet powerful feature that can make your code cleaner and your programming life a bit easier whether you are working on react project vue.js or just some vanilla javascript arrow functions are very useful if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover drop them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials until next time happy coding mm -hmm.